It's a battle of the Bobcats here in NHIAA Division II Girls Volleyball. And it's coming up next for you here live on GSSN and Pemmy Baker TV. Welcome inside Plymouth Regional High School here in Plymouth, New Hampshire for this NHIAA Division II girls volleyball matchup featuring the Bobcats of Oyster River sitting at 4-0 overall taking on the Bobcats of Plymouth Regional High School at 2-1 this season. Hello everyone, I'm Dan Salzer for Granite State Sports Network and Pemi Baker TV bringing you complete coverage of this big time matchup here early on in the 2019 season. We talk about Oyster River coming in undefeated and they have shown a strong start despite being 4-0. They've only dropped two sets all season as well, but they're going up against a tough Plymouth Regional team that although is 2-1 are coming off of a loss at John Stark last Thursday in three straight sets uh, have really battled Oyster River well over the last few years. Last year though on the road down in Durham Plymouth was up 2-0 in the first two sets 27-25, 25-23 but then Oyster River stormed back at home winning the final three sets 25-19 25-16 and then 19-17 in a fifth set thriller. We'll see what's going to happen here today. We look at Oyster River again. This team coming in and no much, uh, not so much team stats that we can get for them right now, but uh, this offense has been strong. Um, Qualieri has done well, hitting over 400 for Oyster River, while the team is serving at 95% here in 2019. And they'll look to try to continue to work on their systems early on. While Plymouth, again, continues to uh, stay atop Division Two. We're going to turn it downstairs and over to the public address announcer for the starting lineup and national anthem. We at Plymouth ask that everyone attending tonight's contest observe the following. First and foremost, let us be positive in every aspect of this match. Sportsmanship for the players and the fans, positive cheering only, and respect by everyone for the officials working the game. We would greatly appreciate your help in keeping our orchards, pork, and lobby clean by throwing away all trash and keeping food and drinks outside in the lobby area. Please remember that smoking is prohibited on the school ground. Emergency exits are located to your left and right, and we ask for players and game personnel only on the court. We hope that you enjoy the game. And now for the visiting team from Oyster River High School. Number nine, Parade Pavlieri. Thank you. 
The motion opposed by Jonathan Van Scooter and assisted by Terry Toll, Hannah There you have the starting lineups here today. Oyster River in their road black uniforms on the right side of your screen to start this match. Plymouth in their home blues. Got a battle of the Bobcats. And it's sure to be a good one. If it's anything like last year, we're in for a barn burner of a five set match. As the teams will meet at the net. Nice job by the JV teams to Little high fives here on the sideline to get the varsity team fired up. It was Plymouth in the JV match coming away with a 2-1 victory over Oyster River. We'll see if Oyster River can change that here in the varsity game or if Plymouth can get a complete sweep here against their foes. Sandra Sweat, the head coach for Oyster River here today. Jonathan Van Scotter, head coach for Plymouth Regional. As Haley Davis, a little barrel, will come into the game for Oyster River. The officials will make sure the rotation is correct. And just Swanson, the captain, the senior for Plymouth Regional. Wearing the libero jersey here today. We'll check into the game as Plymouth will serve here in set number one. Again, they're coming off of a tough loss back on Thursday at John Stark, 0-3. Oyster River, 4-0 to start the season as we're underway. And an early start for Plymouth. Call that a ball handling error right off the bat. Poitras to serve again. Backline attack, and it's going to find the back line there for Maggie Sylvester. She looks strong in the warm ups, wearing number 14 for Oyster River. And quickly tied at one here. Corinne Quagliari will serve. For Oyster River. Good effort by Poitras to keep it alive. But Plymouth cannot get it over the net. First lead for Oyster River here in this match. Short jump serve. Played into the net. And they'll call it an ace on this one. Quagliari doing well here. Decent crowd to our signs for the fans. Here at Plymouth, high off the hands, it's gonna hit the backboard, stay alive, good work by Plymouth to keep the eyes on this one. Right side attack, blocked at the net, a continuation here for Oyster River. Middle attack on for Sylvester. Plymouth there for the answer, battle at the net, and it will go under, and a point for Oyster River.
Again, another beautiful serve. Free ball over on the receive there from Swanson. Attack down the line. Good work by Plymouth. Sullivan will send it over. Middle attack here for Oyster River, and it'll land out of play on the near sideline. Emma Hampton with the attack for Oyster River. Misses, and deficit cut in half now for Plymouth. They trail 2-4 at the moment. Maya Prince with a serve. Little floater over. Nice cover there from Tatham, and that one's going to drop on Plymouth's side. Ella Kavicki to serve now for Royster River. It's a nice one to the back line, received by Sullivan. Not much of attack, a free ball sent right back over. Good work by Sylvester again to keep it alive for Oyster River. Bobcats, good net presence here. It's into the back line, and it's going to find the back corner for the kill. Six-two lead for Oyster River on the road here in set number one. Received by Prince. Right side attack on for that of Marston. Blocked again at the net. Good hands coming. Goal. And that one's going to drop for Plymouth. Kim Goal had the good block, but not enough for Oyster River. Marston with a serve for Plymouth. Outside attack, it's a great one from Sylvester. Good dig on the other side though for Plymouth. Set long and a point for Plymouth Regional. Good attack on the right side from Emma Hampton, but just got underneath it a little bit too early. Another attack, cross court shot. It's gonna land towards the bench of Plymouth. And just like that, lead down to one for Oyster River. It's 6-5. Senior and Savannah Marston to serve once again. Backline attack there from Quaglieri. Free ball over by Plymouth, and it's going to go long. So you can sense the, the tension a little bit early on between both teams. The energy here, both teams looking for a quick start. Wanted to make a statement in this match. Nice set there from Poitras, and the attack will go long. Emma Hampton will serve for Oyster River. Good receive by Plymouth with Prince. And a miss hit there coming from Sullivan on the outside. Just had it roll off her fingers, it looked like. Poitras back to Sullivan. Tries to go cross court, and Sylvester was there, and she'll be set up, but... It's a poor set to her into the net. Couple of sums both ways. Lauren Hoppler, number five, will come in for Oyster River as well as Margot Burnham, number three. Amelia Abdul Jabbar, the sophomore, will. Check in for Plymouth Rachel and now serve. Davis with a nice receive outside attack on the right side for Sylvester, and that's where she's been strong here during warm-ups. And she will now go back to serve. 10-6 the score line here in set number one. And a service error, the first one on either side here this afternoon.
Maya Sullivan. Senior captain will serve for the first time here for Plymouth. It's a beauty at Davis. Good attack on there from Quagliari. Middle shot down and in. Bassinway with a big kill from the middle. Plymouth cuts the deficit down to two. Trying to regain the lead for the second time here this match. And it's an ace there for Sullivan. Hoppler with a middle set. Sullivan with a big dig. It's going to hit the light and stay in play. An attack for the middle. Just going to go long over the end line. On Waukee for Bass and White. Haley Davis back to serve. The junior libero for Oyster River. It's a nice one right at Sullivan. Cross court set. Prince will send it over. It's an attack and dug out beautifully here by Swanson. Bassinway can't get the kill. Sylvester with a massive dig. Outside attack again for Prince. She can't get it to fall. Sylvester keeps it alive. She has been everywhere for Oyster River. Knocked at the net and blocked down. What a point for Oyster River. Again, if this first set is going to be like the entire match, we're in for a good one here this evening, folks. 12-9 the score line, the score line in favor of Oyster River to start. Davis with a serve, might have gone long. Sullivan's not taking any chances. Middle set coming for Kovicki. Right side attack this time for Royce River. That one's off of Abdul-Jabbar's hands. Bassinwade has it dug out in the back line from Davis. Again, the right side attack going for the middle this time, and she won't be denied a second time on this rally. And the lead cut down to three. Savannah Marston, the senior, comes back in for Plymouth. And Swanson nearly gets the ace. Good reflexes by Burnham, and a big kill from the middle from Marston. Got a big time wind up on that one. Swanson with a service error that will be sent long. Burnham with a nice jump serve for Oyster River. And this one sent into the net there for Marston. Just got on top of it a little bit too early. Missed time to set. Doja Bar keeps it alive. Free ball sent over coming from Prince. Outside attack. And that one's going to fall from Pagliari. Biggest lead of the set right now for Oyster River at 5, 16 to 11. Sullivan with a receive. Outside attack from Marston. And that's going to fall. A little miscommunication there for Oyster River.
Subs both ways. Kenzie Tatham, the junior, will check back in for Plymouth. Emma Hampton in for Oyster River. As well as number seven, Isabel Callway. Poitras with a serve for Plymouth. Middle set for Oyster River, and it's into the back corner for Kovicki. Sullivan, Poitras, middle set, floated over there for Marston. Free ball sent over. Outside attack for Plymouth, and we're going to call a net violation here in Oyster River. And I believe it was on Emma Hampton, number eight. We're going to say it was in the net on that attack by Plymouth. Fester with a kill down the line. She is someone to watch out for here this evening for sure. Kim Gowell comes back in for Oyster River. Poitras, not the greatest of sets, but not the greatest of receives either. This attack sends long here from Gowell. It's missed time to jump. Hit underneath it and a point for Plymouth. Senior and Savannah Mars tend to serve once again. Last time she rattled off three straight points. Middle attack and Oyster River thought it was off the fingers. Officials do not agree and award the point to Plymouth on the attack that went long from Gowell once again. Outside attack, Sylvester. Can't get that one on the back line. Free ball sent over by Plymouth, Davis. Now outside attack, good work. Once again from Marston. And the attack from the back line is into the net. Unlucky break there for Plymouth. Emma Hampton to serve now. Hampton, the freshman, nearly gets an ace. Good receive there by Prince. Second touch over by Oyster River. Right side attack, and it's into the net there. From Tatham, unlucky for her. Twenty to fifteen, Oyster River out ahead here in set number one. Thank you for joining us here on the Granite State Sports Network and Pemmy Baker TV. And Basson wait with a big attack. It's a free ball sent back over to Plymouth. This time it's going to be Sullivan, but it's into the net. She's strong there in warmups. But I'm lucky at this attack. And an ace to Hampton. Timeout taken on the court. We'll take a timeout as well. Here in set number one, it's Oyster River 22, Plymouth 15 on GSSN and Pemmy Baker TV. Getting ready to come out of the timeout. First one taken by either team here. Only two lead changes. Plymouth had the early lead 2-1. Where Oyster Rivers stormed back. Now have their biggest lead of the set at seven. Good serve. Good patience there from Sullivan. 
Sylvester's there on the dig. She'll be set up on the attack, and she's blocked, but it's going to unfortunately land out of bounds for Plymouth. Tough one there. Good timing at the net, though. Swanson with a receive. Sullivan! Set was a little bit too far outside and tried to stutter step to recover. The attack is set long and set point now for Oyster River. Poitis to the middle, bass in weight. Can't get that to fall against Davis. Miscommunication. And this one's not going to make it back over the net. Lauren Hoppler will come in for Oyster River as well as Margot Burnham. Camelia Abdujabar, the sophomore, now back in for Plymouth in deserve. Trying to keep this set alive. Good set from Hoppler. Sylvester does that punch it over. Sullivan with a free ball over. Hoppler middle set, and that's off the hands for the kill that'll end the set. Kim Gowell will pick up the point there. And set number one goes to Oyster River. We'll step aside, quick commercial break. When we come back, set number two here on GSSN and Pemmy Baker TV. Back here inside Plymouth Regional High School in Plymouth, New Hampshire, as we get set for set number two. Oyster River took set one, 25-16. And really felt a lot closer to that. It wasn't until the closing moments of that first set that Oyster River pulled away for that set win. Now we don't have live stats here in high school. I gotta expect both teams probably hitting, say Oyster River was hitting round 250 in that first set. It was probably about even for Plymouth Regional. Maybe just above zero with some of the errors down the stretch in that first set, but we're ready to go here in set number two. Quickly error to serve. It's a beautiful one, and it's an ace. Tough one off the hands there of Maya Prince, the junior. Outside attack here for Plymouth by Tatham. It gets over by Oyster River. Middle set by Toll, and it's a kill. Good dig by Swanson. Punched up by Toll and a free ball over by Plymouth to keep the rally alive. Outside by Sylvester, she can't get it over. And they're gonna call. What touches there on Oyster River. So the first lead for Plymouth since the early stages of set one. At the same score, 2-1 and a miss set there, miscommunication. Take them on the set. Tough break there for Marston and that of Sullivan. Toll, able to reach over. Good work by Wish River to keep that alive. But it's not gonna be sent over. Tough one for Kovicki. Plymouth back ahead here. 
Savannah Marston with a nice serve. Outside for Sylvester, and it's blocked, and it's off the hands of Oyster River. Marston with a nice floater over the net. It's a middle set, blocked down. Bassin way doing well. Good dummy, but not enough there from Sullivan. It was a good setup. And that dummy attack from Abby Bassinway in the middle. But Sullivan just couldn't connect cleanly. Oh, somehow good reflection. The reaction's there from Sullivan to get it over. And that one on the kill. Good work from the middle. Cam Gowell once again, who's had a couple of errors for Oyster River in the first set, but closed out the set with a couple of great hits. Has another one there. We're tied at four. Toll. Sullivan and she'll get the kill. That one's off the hands of Gowell, and that was a big time attack on the outside. Again, Hoppler and Burnham checking in for Oyster River. Alicia Poitras, the senior, to serve for Plymouth now. Somehow, Oyster River keeps that one alive. It's a free ball over. Bassin Wade with a kill from the middle. Sophomores heating up here for Plymouth in set number two. Poitras able to recover. Bassin Waite, not the greatest of sets to her, has a free ball, the attack and a kill. Back to back kills for Abby Bassin Waite. And Plymouth has their biggest lead of the match at three. It's seven to four. Seems as though Plymouth Regional has really settled nicely into this match. And a tough dig coming for Swanson. Back over for Maggie Sylvester. Good jump serve for her. Little attack for Bassinway. That a little help from the net as well. We'll get the kill. Maya Sullivan to serve now for Plymouth. To the back line, it's off of Sylvester's hands. Nice job by Davis to keep it alive, and it's a free ball sent over by Oyster River. Outside attack from Prince. It's a middle attack the other way from Gowell, and she'll get the kill off the hands of Plymouth. Haley Davis, the libero to serve. And her second service error of the evening. Yeah. Swanson with a nice serve. And an ace. Her first one this evening. Sylvester with the receive. Floated over, but it's sent out of play there for Moisture River. Tough one off the hands there of Quaglieri. And a timeout taken by Oyster River. Their first timeout 
We'll take a timeout as well here in set number two. It's Plymouth Regional 11, Oyster River 6 on GSSN and Pemmy Baker TV. Back out of the timeout taken by Oyster River, their first one. Good dig coming from Swanson. Attack at the net from Prince nearly gets it to fall. Prince with a nice hand, but can't keep it alive. And a point to Oyster River. Great athletic plays by both sides on that rally. It was the biggest lead for Plymouth at five before that point scored. Prince with a soft attack from the outside. Partially blocked at the net, but that's going to fall. Off the hands there of Toll and Marston. Margot Burnham serving for Oyster River. Trying to continue to chip away at this lead. A nice little knuckler to the back line against Sullivan. Middle attack here. Kept alive by Plymouth. Marston couldn't get the kill. Punched over and a cross-court kill this time for Oyster River. And Pagliari. So a five-point lead is now cut down to two for Plymouth. Middle attack and Sylvester couldn't handle that dig cleanly. Give the kill to Marston. Aaron Toll will serve for Plymouth. Callway checks back in for Oyster River, as well as Tatham for Plymouth. And an ace for Aaron Toll, the junior. Toll to the back line. Good awareness there from Davis to let it go for a service error. Thirteen ten, Plymouth leading here in set number two, and an ace the other way for Corian Quagliari. Swanson with a receive, Toll, tough set into the net, somehow kept alive by Davis, free ball over by Oyster River. Right side attack coming for Tatham. Backline attack, Sullivan with a dig at the net, block down for the point for Oyster River. We have block assist there for Kovicki. And give it as well to Hampton. 13-12 the score. Oyster River stormed back in the middle of the set and tie it on the ace. Quaglieri doing well here. Four straight points for her. Toll. Outside attack for Tatham. Other way and a whistle before the attack. I'll call a carry here on Oyster River. Still only one lead change here this set. Plymouth hanging on right now, trying to tie this match up at one apiece. Middle attack. Swanson with a nice dig. The outside for Sullivan, couldn't get a lot of power on that one. And that one for the kill for Sylvester. Elikovicki to serve for Oyster River. It's an aggressive one to the back line. Somehow, Plymouth 
Nice athletic ability, keeps it alive. Free ball sent over. Middle attack, and a kill coming. And goal again. Action Cowell with that kill. And a service error here on Oyster River. Ties the game back up at 15. It was only the second lead change of the set. Sylvester trying to palm it cross court in that empty corner, but it's into the net. Davis to call and a big time kill in the middle. Kim Cowell once again, number 16, coming up big for Oyster River. Emma Hampton serving from that right side. Good receive from Prince. High set, Sullivan will palm it over. And again, Cowell blocked down, Bassinweight is having a, herself a great match here on that front line in the middle. Lauren Hoppler will check in for Oyster River. Pointress just in now serving. Hoppler with that set and the attack into the net. Plymouth's lead back up by two, 18-16. Poitras with a nice floater on the serve. Outside from Burnham, can't get it to fall. Basson wait, and a free ball over it. It falls for the points. Quaglieri comes up big. It was a great dig. It was sent right over, but dropped in the middle of the court. Sometimes better be lucky than good, I guess. Sylvester. Difficulty serving on that one. Glad at Poitras, a great one. This one freely sent over by Plymouth. Hoppler on the right side, set up on the attack from Burnham. Somehow, Plymouth keeps it alive and they get the points. Good hustle there from Swanson and the rest of her teammates. And that has Plymouth Regional fired up on the bench. What a great second set we have here. Sullivan with a serve at Sylvester. Hoppler middle set and that kill from the middle. Gowell again, it's off the hands there of Swanson in that far corner. And the lead cut back to one. Haley Davis gets the ace. Last time she served, served this set, it was an error. Now she'll get the ace. Chance for her team to retake the lead for the second time here this set. Davis aggressive to the far side. Sullivan keeps it alive. It was close to going out. Freely sent over to the back line. Hoppler, cross court set. High off the net. That's a difficult one to play. The fourth lead change here in set number two. And Oyster River back up ahead, 20 to 19. Davis, another aggressive serve. Freely over by Prince. Hoppler with the setting error there. We're tied at 20. Savannah Marston. Back in for Plymouth onto the front line. 
Swanson with the ace. And we have our fifth lead change. Davis to that far side for Quaglieri. Back set right side now for Plymouth and a whistle at the net. It looked like it was a net violation. Well, timeout on the court. Second one for Oyster River here in this set. We'll step aside one more time as Plymouth trying to tie things up here. 22-20 they lead here on the Granite State Sports Network and Pemmy Baker TV. Second and final timeout for Oyster River coming to an end. They trail by two. Plymouth Regional trying to tie up this match. Oyster, Oyster River leads 1-0 overall. Thanks to a 25-16 set one win. Okay, we've had five lead changes. Plymouth has been up by five a couple of times. We're trying to close it out here. Free ball over. Swanson. Poitras, middle set, and it's going to be a kill for Marston. <laughs> Sylvester with the receive, right side attack coming from Quagliari, and it's into the net. So set point here for Plymouth, looking to tie things up 24-20. Hoppler, middle set, goes long! Plymouth takes set number two. So a good one here inside Plymouth Regional High School. We're tied at one here after two sets. We'll step aside, quick commercial break. We'll come back, set number three on Granite State Sports Network and Pemmy Baker TV. So we head to set number three, tied at one between Oyster River and Plymouth Regional. Oyster River trying to stay perfect on the season. They're off to a 4-0 start. Heavy favorites in Division II this year. Plymouth Regional trying to stop a one-game skid with their loss last week at John Stark in straight sets. I'm trying to prove that they can really match up the top teams in Division II, and rightfully so, they've been up there the last couple of years. So again, Oyster River took set one if you're just tuning in, 25-16. Plymouth took the last set, 25-20. And we're ready for set number three. Aaron Toll with a serve for Plymouth. Middle attack, and it's going to go long. Kovicki just got underneath it. Toll with a nice one at Davis. Backline attack from Sylvester. And that dig was sent into the net. Swanson can't get there. It's an ace for Oyster River. And Quaglieri once again. Outside for Tatham, and that one is going to be sent long. Three-one lead here for Oyster River in set three. Quaglier with a nice serve again, a set towards the net, and this one's going to be tapped down on the block coming from Kavicki. Swanson, nice recovery with a tap on the serve off the net. And Plymouth thought it was off the hands. 
head coach Jonathan Van Sconner talking to his captains to go over, talking to the up official. And he's shaking his head no on that attack. And Mackenzie Tatham can't believe it on the far side of the court for Plymouth. Short serve, free ball sent over. Outside set. And this one's going to fall. And a point for Oyster River. And seems as though Plymouth a little bit flat here in set number three. Trailing by 5-6-1. Toll somehow gets a hand on that one. Bounces over. Friendly bounce for Plymouth off the net. Blocked down in the middle for Marston. Sylvester gets the kill off the hands there of Tatham. Just like that, the lead back up to five. Sullivan. And a whistle and a point for Plymouth. Called the carry there and a good shot there to the back line. Subs both ways. Savannah Marston to serve for Plymouth Regional. Right side attack for Oyster River. Blocked at the net, return sent freely over and out of play. Point for Plymouth. Hole with a nice dig. Free ball from Sullivan. Davis, Callway, right side attack off the hands. And a kill for Oyster River, good job. Coming from Emma Hampton, number eight, who will go back to serve. Tough one on the receive there for Plymouth. Came off of Maya Prince. And an ace. For Hampton. Nine four, Oyster River ahead here in set number three. We're tied at one apiece. Sullivan will not get the kill. Good cover from Haley Davis. Bush River keeps it alive to the delight of the fans off to our right. Sullivan tries to wind up that attack into the net. Biggest lead of the set for Oyster River at six. It's 10-4. Yeah. Middle of set there on the attack. And good work for Bassinwaite. Finds it on the far side. Alicia Poitras now serving for Plymouth. Trying to cut this lead down. It sits at five at the moment. Middle attack from Cowell and it will go long. Poitras of the floater. Hoppler outside set for Sylvester, and she'll get the kill. Maggie Sylvester, we've seen her with some good outside attacks here, but she's really loving that opposite side against Plymouth in this matchup. Battle at the net. Toll couldn't get it to fall. Pushed back over by Oyster River. And that one's going to drop. Good work for Margot Burnham. 
at the net. Ties the biggest lead for Oish River this set at six. And an ace for Sylvester. This one's going to be pushed out. And a timeout taken by Plymouth, and rightfully so, trying to slow the momentum here of Oyster River. We'll step aside as well here in set number three, Oyster River leading 14 to 6. Welcome back here on Credit State Sports Network and Pemmy Baker TV. Dan Salzer alongside our cameraman and producer and Andrew Fenn. Back out of First timeout charge to Plymouth. And a service error there to Sylvester on the few mistakes she has had this evening. Good eye by Plymouth to let that one go. It'll set this time and a kill for Cowell. It just has that feeling here in set number three that Plymouth used a lot of energy and excitement in that, that epic second set to get the win. That They've just come out a little bit flat here in set number three. Poitras, free ball over from Sullivan. Right side attack for Oyster River. Swanson with a nice dig. Second touch by Aaron Toll. On the center attack, and she finds the back line that was wide open. And an ace for Anja Swanson. Just like that momentum that Plymouth needed out of their timeout. Swanson at Davis, tapped over. Surprised they didn't call. Violation there in Oyster River. But point to them. A little delay there waiting for Lauren Hoppler to tie her shoe. Good jump serve from Burnham. Free ball over, Davis, Hoppler. Middle set here for Kovicki, can't get the kill. It's time the other way, Marston with a nice attack. Davis, freely over. Outside for Prince, Sylvester. Now on for Quaglieri, good rally on here, the best one of the match. Davis, Hoppler, middle set for Kovicki, that one doesn't fall, good cover. From Toll to the back line with Davis. Epic rally on here. Sullivan lays out. Swanson will send it over. Hoppler, poor set. Attack and a kill on the outside for Quaglieri. Epic rally there. And it's 17 to 9. And a service error for Oyster River. And Burnham. Some more subs for both sides. As Aaron told the junior to serve for Plymouth. Dad Davis, good cover. Caliari, Oyster River keeps it alive. Sent at the net, and it's attacked down by Kovicki with an easy attack for her. Yeah. 
Toll outside there for Tatham. Middle set, it's not the greatest one. As Kovicki has to just send it over. Good delay, and that one's going to drop. Savannah Marston with a nice hesitation there in the middle. Looked like that serve might have gone out. Sylvester so with the attack into the net. So Plymouth hanging around here in set number three. Sylvester will have to palm it over. Outside for Sullivan to the back line. Swanson, Toll, middle attack and a kill for Plymouth. Savannah Marston will get it off the hands of Oyster River at the net. Just like that, eight point lead down to five. Maya Prince with a nice serve. Good effort from Haley Davis. Somehow Davis again gets it over on the third touch. And a whistle here and a point to Oyster River. Four touches for Plymouth. The attack there looked like from Sullivan was into the net. Epic third set, epic match we've had all around. Team two of the top teams in Division Two here in New Hampshire. Toll back set, cross court kill, attack there coming from Plymouth. And this one set long from the middle. Gowell, good work from Tatham on the right side for Plymouth a moment ago. Savannah Marston serving, it's a beautiful one at Sylvester. Freely sent over again. Toll trying to get the punch, Davis reaching for it. Sylvester from the outside, and will get for a point there. A double contact to Plymouth. 20 to 14, Oyster River ahead, trying to get a commanding two to one lead here overall. Swanson with a nice receive. Sullivan there to help her out. Toll will have to send it over. Keeps the rally alive, could block at the net. And we'll get the point there for Bassinweight. So we thought it was gonna be a battle between Sylvester for Oyster River and that of the captain and senior in Maya Sullivan, but Bassinweight, the underclassman really stepping up here for Plymouth. We had five lead changes in set number two, only one here in set number three. Right side attack, Sylvester! And that's where she's done her damage, finding that back corner in the cross court kill. Sylvester with another nice jump serve. Set is tough into the net there from Toll. And Oyster River now three points away from taking set number three. It's 22 15. Basson Waite sends it over. Sylvester to the front line. Hoppler, middle attack, and. They're going to say it lands out of bounds. It's not off the hands of Plymouth. So they'll get the points. Tough one coming from Kim Cowell there. Trying to find that empty front corner. And an ace for Plymouth Regional. Great serves by both sides here this evening. Maya Sullivan trying to chip away this lead a little bit more. Poplar 
Outside attack, Sullivan gets a dig, but it's sent over again from the outside. Bradley Harry stuck out by Swanson. Leary again. This time it goes long. Oyster River thought there was touch at the net. Didn't look like it from our angle. Heads up there for Maya Sullivan to let it go. And the closest the Panthers have been since the early part of this set. It's within four. And another ace for Sullivan. We wouldn't be surprised if we have a timeout coming here from Oyster River. And they do take a timeout. Plymouth storming back here in set number three. We'll step aside, quick commercial break here. Royce River leading 22-19. So it was an eight point lead for Royce River when it was 18 to 10, has been cut down to three thanks to Maya Sullivan and the rest of Plymouth Regional. 22-19, Royce River ahead here in set number three. We're tied at one overall. Setting up like an instant classic. And a third ace here for Maya Sullivan. And this series of serves for her. The Oyster River needs to stop this momentum here of Plymouth real quick. Freely over by Coppler. Toll back set. Passing weight to the middle, kept alive by Oyster River. Swanson, toll in the uh, center attack. Palieri can't get the kill. This time on the far side for Prince, and the cross court attack will miss just out of play. Good effort by both sides, but that really puts momentum back in favor of Oyster River. 23-20 the score here. Davis with a beautiful serve. She settled in nicely to this game, but the kill from the right side, and it's Basson Wade again. Oh my, what, what a change of momentum this would be for the fourth set if Plymouth can come back and win. Down at one point by eight a couple of times. Leary with a nice receive and a shot. They're going to say it does go to Oish River. It catches just inside the far side. And it's set point here for Oyster River. Trying to side out. Bobcats. And it's in and out of the touch from Prince. And Oyster River takes set number three, 25-21. Again, it looked like a surefire win there in the set for Oyster River. They're up by eight. Three different occasions, but Plymouth stormed back, made it close. But it's Oyster River by four in the end. We'll step aside. Decisive fourth set coming up next here on GSSN and Pemmy Baker TV. Fans, Plymouth Regional Field Hockey is back in action this Friday. They take on Sauhegan here at home. Game time set for 4 p.m. Catch all the action live here on GSSN. And watch replays throughout the week on Pemmy Baker TV. Great one we have here. Oyster River leading a 2-1. Trying to close things out here in set number four so far. The score lines, Oyster River took set number one, 25-16. Plymouth took a nice win in set number two, 25-20. Oyster River, what looked like they were cruising in set number three, got close at the end, but come up with a 25-21 win. I'd like to close out this match here in set number four, underway on the serve, and big dig from Davis. Floated by Sylvester for the kill. Don't have the totals on, you know, attack percentage. No live stats here in high school, but if it's right now not that of Maggie Sylvester, 
as your kind of MVP for Oyster River. It's got to be that of Haley Davis as a libero. As a service error here on Oyster River. Guaglieri there with that service into the net. Haley Davis has been outstanding. Same with her counterpart as libero and Swanson on the other side for Plymouth. Middle set, and a point to Oyster River. A carry here at the net. Going to be called on Mackenzie Tatham, reaching back for it. And a surface error here. Against Hanley Davis a couple of times she's done that. We haven't seen it in a while. She was, I believe, perfect on her serves last set and a couple of errors in set number two. And we're tied at two at the moment. A little sloppy. And Sullivan will get the kill. Trying to drop it in that front corner. But we'll get it off the hands there of Sylvester. First lead for Plymouth since their first point of the last set. Free attack for Maya Sullivan and she'll get the kill. Marston now serving. It's floated at Sylvester. She'll be set up and will get the kill. Off the hands there of Aaron Toll. Anja Swanson, the captain and senior, checks back in as the little barrow. Hampton serving. We'll get another ace. That's at least her fourth or fifth one here this evening. Good one down the line at Sullivan. Middle set and blocked at the net. And they're going to call a net violation here on Oyster River. So a point to Plymouth Regional. And they'll hold on to lead now, 5-4. Pointress now serving. Davis to the front line. Miscommunication with Oyster River. Call that one a setting error. And not an official stat, but close enough there on that one. Hoppler, the attack. Will go long. Tough one there from Gowell. Gowell thought for a second it was off the hands. Getting a little frustrated and has to be careful not to pick up a card. Poitras is on the floating serve to Davis. And a big kill for Sullivan on the right side. She has been so strong on the opposite. And a service error from Sullivan again. She's had a couple of those here in this match, but really the only mistake she's had all match. As Plymouth has now tied their biggest lead of the set at three from a moment ago, 8-5. Sylvester keeps it alive. It's freely sent over by Oyster River. Points it to the front line for Toll. Middle sad and a kill for Plymouth. And it's Bass and Wade again. Oh 
Great serve, great receive from Davis, and a kill down the line on the far side. Huglieri again. But a strong counterpart to Sylvester on the attacks for Oyster River. Sullivan, Bassinweight have done well for Plymouth. This one's at Sullivan, back set, Bassinweight! And gets it in the back corner. Oyster River thought it was long. There's no line judges here in high school. It's a two-man system. So lead back up to four for Plymouth. Swanson with a nice serve at Sylvester. This one's going to be sent over from Davis. Toll, middle set. Marston is blocked. Free ball attack and a kill for Oyster River. Kavicki doing well, waiting for that one in the middle. Good fans join us after the match. We'll talk with Plymouth Regional Head Coach Jonathan Van Sconner. Get his reactions to today's epic match. And a setting attack there from Aaron Toll, and she has seen that so well here in the middle sets, finding that back line. 11-7, the lead for Plymouth, trying to send it to a fifth set. Toll now serving. And attack into the net there on the outside from Hampton. Middle attack and another great kill coming from Kavicki. So a big side out there for Oyster River trying to close this gap down. And this one sent well along off the hands of Tatham. Just jumped a little bit too early. Quaglieri serving. She's done well for her side here in this match. Sullivan will send it over freely. Seen a few of those here today in the attack in the middle once again from Kavicki, this time into the net. Junior and Maya Prince to serve for Plymouth. Sylvester trying to change up the speed down the line and a whistle and a point to Oyster River on the double contact by Plymouth. Subs checking in. And attack on the out on the opposite side from Marston is into the net. See Hope Quayley in for the first time. Thirteen eleven, Plymouth ahead here, trying to keep the match going. In set number four, Sullivan has it partially blocked at the net. Oyster River keeps it alive. Sylvester has it dug out, but a whistle and double contact on Plymouth. Just like that, what was a four point or a five point lead for Plymouth this set is down to one, thirteen to twelve. Help from the net with Davis. Toll to Sullivan, so send it over. Callway with a nice set. And a point on the block that lands out of bounds to Oyster River. Olivia Sylvester in the middle on that attack. We're tied at 13. Quayley. A tough receive, and this one cannot be returned over. Second lead change of the set. Oh, 
Swanson, Sullivan, Tatham with the attack. Right side, and another kill coming off the hands of Qualieri. Timeout by Plymouth. We'll step aside. Oyster River trying to close it out here in four. They lead 15-13 here on GSSN and Pemmy Baker TV. Fans, Plymouth Regional Football looks for back-to-back -back wins as they will play host for their home opener against Guilford Belmont. Kickoff is set for 2.30. Catch all the action on the pregame show starting at 2.15 here on the Granite State Sports Network and Pemmy Baker TV. So Oyster River again trails by five here in this set of Storm back to take a two-point lead, 15-13. Ties their biggest lead of the set. Trying to close it out here in four. They lead 2-1 overall. And look to try to stay undefeated to start 2019. And the fourth service error on Haley Davis. Abdul Jabbar with her service error and teams will trade points back and forth. So Emma Hampton will serve for Oyster River who's done extremely well on her jump serves this match. And this time it's tape. And three straight service errors for both sides. Alicia Poitras back in to serve for Plymouth. West River trying to hold on to the lead. Right side attack for Sylvester, and she'll get another kill. That's at least seven or eight kills for Sylvester on the opposite side. Finding those lanes. And she'll now serve for Oyster River. Right at Swanson, and an ace! Miscommunication there with Bassinweight. Thought someone else was coming in for the set. Toll thought Bass and Waite was going to get it. And another ace here for Sylvester. And Plymouth has to be careful here. Some coming back in. Maya Prince for Plymouth Regional. Essentially a nine point swing in the middle part of this set and three service aces for Sylvester on this streak for her. And the Bobcats of Oyster River are within five points of victory. Free ball over. Middle attack and a kill there. Quaglieri again. Magic number is four. Surprise Plymouth isn't taking their final time out. Service error here, and that's a big side out for Plymouth. Need to go on a roll here. Maya Sullivan right at Davis. Outside, Quaglieri into the net. And they say the attack was into the net, never touched the hands of the block. So a point to Plymouth. It's 21-17 now. Can we still have Plymouth make a big run last set to make it close? They need to win this set to keep the match alive. Sylvester with a nice receive. Davis with a free ball over. Swanson, Toll. Middle for Basson Wade, and Davis is there for the dig, but it's sent over freely. Toll in the center attack, it's on the line, but they're gonna say it's just out. Oh, a tough one there for Plymouth, and a big point for Oyster River. 22-17. 
And another service error for a second. Thought that that was in that back corner. Outside and a poor set for Oyster River. Tough one off the hands there of Hoppler. So Plymouth closes to within three now. 22-19. Swanson. Again with a nice, great serve. And this attack into the net. Qualieri. Now we'll see if Oyster River takes a timeout, if Plymouth can score here and close to within one. Qualieri. Swanson with a nice dig. Pushed over, kept alive. Rally here. Middle attack. And a kill for Kofiki. Big kill from Kowicki in the middle. Royce River two points away from going 5-0 to start the season. Toll couldn't find the back line. On the setter attack. Sullivan keeps it alive. Middle set. That one for Marston, but kept out on the other side of the dig and a kill from the outside. Qualieri. And it's match point for Oyster River. 24-20. Sullivan. Toll. Good attack there from Marston. Chance to win it. Swanson to the net. Just gets it over. Rally continues. Davis to the outside. Qualieri. Swanson there for the dig. Toll to the middle. Again, Marston dug out by Sullivan. Qualieri for the win. Nice dig by Sullivan. Again, Sylvester finds the back corner for the win. Tough one for Plymouth. Sullivan thought that was going to go long. She doesn't chase it down, but Sylvester finds it for victory. And a tough one for Plymouth to swallow. They drop it here and fall to 2-2 two and two on the season. Oyster River, Oyster River will improve to 5-0. and oh, As they will win the final set 25-20. Final line again here. Oyster River wins 3 to 1, 25-16, 20-25, 25-21, 25-20. So again, stay undefeated here in 2019. It was a great match by both sides, but Oyster River comes out on top. Bobcats of Plymouth will try to regroup here as they will get set for their next matches. Coming up again, they will be at Sauhegan on Friday. They're on a gonna start a three game road trip. Uh, then at Laconia next Tuesday before heading to Kennett uh, a week from now and won't return home till against Conval on Friday, September 27th. So a good stretch for Plymouth coming up. But that's gonna do it for us here inside Plymouth Regional High School. For our staff, our cameraman and producer, Andrew Fan, I'm Dan Salzer. For those of you watching on Pemmy Baker TV, stay tuned. Post-game interview coming up next. Final score for the final time. It's Oyster River 3, Plymouth 1. On final scores, 25-16, 20-25, 25-21, 20 We'll see you on Friday for field hockey. We thank you for joining us. This has been a production of the NFHS Network here with Granite State Sports Network and Pemmy Baker TV. Joined now live by Plymouth Regional Head Coach Jonathan Van Scooter. Coach, a tough one for your side here today. You drop a close match against Oyster River, one of the powerhouses in Division II. What are your biggest takeaways from this loss? Yeah, one of the biggest takeaways is that we fought all the way through. Uh, we were willing to sacrifice our bodies, hit the floor uh, for the ball. 
So I think that was something that really stood out to me as we just kept playing until that whistle blew, uh, which is something that I've really been pushing our team to do for this season. Uh, and, I th and I saw that come to fruition tonight. I uh, wish we had a little bit more uh, connections with our hitters um, just for uh, returning some of the powerhouse uh, hits against uh, Oyster River. But I thought overall our defense did a great job uh, kind of holding them uh, to um, not getting more points on us. Looking at things, you guys dropped that first set against Oyster River, but stormed back and really controlled the second set. What was said between the break there that got the team fired up for that second set win? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so for volleyball, it's very much a mental game. And so we just had to kind of clear that loss from our mind and go into it with a fresh set saying, hey, we're not playing Plymouth Bobcat volleyball. We need to play how we can play and rise to the challenge. And I thought the girls did a great job with that. Uh, we saw some great connections uh, with um, some of the setters um, to the hitters. Um, and that really attributed to um, putting Oyster River on their heels in that second game. Looking at some individual efforts, we saw Swanson do very well on some great athletic plays as a libero for your side here today, but also the underclassmen there in Bassinway really stepped up in the middle. Who else really impressed you for your side here in this tough match? Yeah, as you mentioned, Anya did a great job as uh, being a libero. Um, Abby did a great job in the middle. Uh, Savannah, and the other uh, starting middle for us, did a phenomenal job, um, really taking control. Alicia, who stepped into uh, set for us in the first match, I think really stepped into that role really well um, and did that as that was something that was just kind of thrown at her this week with uh, a teammate being down and out with sickness. Uh, so really just the team rallying together and saying, hey, I'm going to play the best that I can in my role. Um, so I think the team as a whole did a great job. Looking at things, what do you take away from this match that you can use moving forward? you got a three-game road trip coming up. Yeah, so a three-game road trip is tough. A lot of back-to-backs with uh, school nights and everything. Um, but really just trying to look forward to how do we stay mentally in the game, not getting uh, closed out when we have a difficult server um, that's uh, serving us. How do we just get out of that rotation, get a good pass up so someone can just step up to get that kill. Uh, so it's really just trying to figure out when we get in those ruts, how do we just snap out of it as a team and just rise above and become stronger. Coach, thank you for your time. Best of luck moving forward. All right. Thank you, sir. So that's going to do it for us here inside Plymouth Regional High School as Oyster River comes away with a 3-1 victory. Again, the Bobcats of Plymouth Regional will be on the road for the next three matches before returning here to home on Friday the 27th. That's going to do it for us here on this broadcast. Again, we thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on Friday for field hockey here on the Granite State Sports Network and Pemi Baker TV.